Hey there guys, what's going on? Today we're back with another episode of testing out your custom classes in Modern Warfare because another one of you absolute mad lads was actually kind enough to leave a comment on these videos. Please leave a comment, man. I just, I, I need a class to play with. Like, I'm running out. I've only got one left. You need to leave a comment. I mean, you weren't kind enough to leave a good class, but I will probably take it what I can get at this point. If this is your first time watching one of these videos and you don't actually know what's going on, I'm testing out the custom classes that you guys leave in my comment section. Good or bad? They're usually bad because it's funnier and grading them out of 10 on an arbitrary scale that I made up just now. So for this video, let's say it'll be out of 10 KFC Twister Boxes out of 10. So <laughs> I actually need you to comment a class. I'm down to my last one. So make sure you do give me the absolute stinkiest class you can come up with in the comments, please. A class today comes to us from Keanu Albert, 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 Alberto, however you say it. And Keanu wasn't actually very kind to me. He's given me, upon first inspection, an unusable class, but we'll soldier through. You can see here that this might actually be the worst looking gun that I've ever seen in my life. Like, it is almost like some kind of Star Wars thing at this point. Like, that is not a gun that you should be using. But, in the interest of comedy, we are going to test it out. The classes that you guys are giving me are usually hilarious, so if you want your class to be included in one of these videos, please leave a comment. This is only the third time I've said it already, and leave your horrible classes or your great classes, and I'll definitely get around to testing it. Let's try and get this video to five likes for a class that I thought I would probably never have to try. The support has been unreal recently. You guys are still doing absolute mad work with the old likes and the subscribing and watching of the videos. So make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on those notifications so you do not miss any more of my videos. All right, so we are looking at a Kilo 141 class here today. And I know what you're thinking. The Kilo is an alright assault rifle. It's not great, but it's not the worst. It could always be better, but it could always be worse. You would definitely be right with that. This class we've got from Keanu is not very kind at all though. Today we are going to be rocking the Kilo 141 with the No Stock, the Drum Magazine, 100 Round Magazines, the Sniper Scope, the Grenade Launcher Under Barrel, and he did say any suppressor, so I've gone with the Tactical Suppressor because I don't actually have the Monolithic, monolithic Suppressor apparently. Like, apparently I have to be level 68 to get that, so I'm not there yet. So initial inspection tells me that this is not actually going to be super enjoyable, but I am... Glad to be proven wrong. The only thing I'm actually like kinda worried about is like the sniper scope. That definitely limits how effective you can be and when and where I can actually use this. I think that'd be straight into shipment. If you're asking me for a decent opinion, I think we take the sniper scope on the, the Kilo 141 into shipment and we do some bloody good work. No, not not really. I mean actually this would be pretty perfect for ground war. Like plenty of ammo to fire down range, you got your hundred round drum mags, fire that down range. An absolutely fantastic site for long range, and I think this could actually work. Like, I think we can get stuff done here. I am a little concerned, however, about no positive recoil options. Like, we haven't got in, like, a Commando 4 grip or anything, and we're probably going to find it a little bit trickier to stay on target. As usual, the grenade launcher is probably a wasted slot, but we'll skip over that. But we're going to do our best to make this work, so I think we might try and clear buildings with it, as you're just supposed to. I don't even know if this is, like, a one-shot kill or not. Like, I don't actually... I've never used this before, so I don't know if this is going to work, like... But yeah, that's what this series is about, making it work, getting the job done. So we're going to be testing this class with an open mind, and hopefully I don't have a mental breakdown at the end of the day. We will see, though. Overall, I don't think I'm actually going to do very well with this class, but I'm certainly going to give it a decent shot. I'm going to test this for a bit today, and I will let you know how we get on, and we'll rate it out of KFC Twister Box combos once we are done. See you soon. Oh, So we have literally just started this game, and we're actually starting with a fairly good record at the moment. This gun is actually... Fine. Maybe it was just because I was a little bit out of practice. I took a took a couple of hours away from the game, and I come back, and now I'm just wrecking shop. Like my problems with this gun are quite obvious. Like my problems with the gun are quite obvious. That the sight is kind of bad. Like the sniper scope is kind of bad, and it's a little bit obstructive, and it's just a bit unnecessary. Like you don't really ever. I don't think you'll ever like. Be like, yes, this is the scope I want to use. This is the one for me. Like, this very specific combination of attachments is not ideal. But, again, it's literally not... It's not literally the worst thing that I've ever used in the game. I've definitely used worse guns than this. The Kilo is already a fine... Oh, God, there's like 15 snipers over... What is that garbage? But, yeah, as I was saying, the, the Kilo is not the worst gun in the game by any stretch of the imagination. It's, it's a serviceable weapon. It does good... Good damage, good good range, it's, it's fine. It's got decent recoil, like, it is an acceptable gun. And slapping bad attachments on it doesn't make the gun terrible. Like, we are 7 and, 7 and like 3 or something, and 
you probably didn't see the start of this game where I was actually getting all the kills, so... But... This is, I think it's fine. I don't think it's appallingly bad. Maybe my opinion of it has changed over using it a cup for a couple of bit, like a couple of minutes. It's it's bad, but it's not outrageously bad. Like I wouldn't use this. I wouldn't go out of my way to be like, yeah, this is the gun that I've actually put together. This is the one I'm choosing. So I'm a little bit of a sadist. So watch this. <laughs> How the fuck did you not die? <laughs> so as I was saying, this gun isn't actually the worst thing in the game. Like, it's, a, it's not good. Like, this is a bad loadout. But it's... it's... okay. Come on. Ah, I hit him three times. Come on. Nah. Come on. Where am I getting shot from? I hate this map, man. Like... This map is bad. It's literally the Siege of Shanghai, but it's not fun. Like, literally every single person on both teams just sits on the rooftops and never moves. Apart from that guy, who's still rocking his shotgun. Yes, let's go. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe... Maybe I'm wrong and everybody else is right about this map. Like, this is a good map and I'm just playing it wrong. But yeah, man. Heaps of fun to just sit on the rooftops and literally never move. This is the best gameplay I've ever experienced in my life. Hold that. And if you're not shooting from ridiculously far away, the recoil attachments on this gun don't actually matter because you're not actually experiencing too much recoil. This is a, this is not the class I would use, I'm not going to lie. It, it's it's fun to try something different. It's always good to try something that's not what you're used to. Two hours later. Do I? Yeah, that happened. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my god, I got crushed by a helicopter. I don't have another... Actually, I do have the... No! <laughs> oh, I don't know if I would have got the kill if he didn't have... If he didn't have... If he didn't have EOD, would I have got the kill there? Probably not. But we'll never know. Nice. Ooh, let's go. Oh! Um, where am I? There's a lot of people in this building. Ah! But yeah, man, I need more classes. Like, you guys have got to leave more comments leaving classes. You guys have been very, very chatty in the comment section recently, and it makes me very, very proud. But I need... I need specific... I need class-based discussion. I, I need weapons that are bad. <laughs> But no, you guys have been absolutely unbelievable recently, like with all the subs and all the views. Ah! Not like that. All the subs, views, likes recently have been unbelievable. Like, we're, we're still on the way up, which is fantastic. Like, I think we're at 365 subs now, which is... Like, if I had a told... Uh, if I had a told Luke from two months ago that we'd be at 360... 65 YouTube subs in... Well, by this, like, middle of January, I don't think I would have believed you. Like, we've, this has been unreal. Like, you guys have been fantastic recently, and I, I love it a lot. Thank you very much for watching all of my videos. If you do, I do appreciate that an awful lot. And yeah, this is this is actually one of my favorite series on this channel at the moment. Like, because I get to interact with you guys a little bit more. This is direct content from you guys. You guys basically get to ruin my ex experience and have a good time while doing it. So, it's good. Everything is good about this. I wonder if this is going to work. No. <laughs> that felt like an actual ton of bricks and did not fly at all. <laughs> oh, helicopter go boom. I think it's fairly damning of a class setup when the best thing about it is its sidearm. Unless it is designed to be that way. Like, 
I would probably much rather pull out the Deagle at this point rather than using this at like close range. Long range, it's better because it's got the long range scope and I can get away with that using using that most of the time. But sometimes, man, it's just... It's just such a pain. But I'm not going to lie. When I saw this in the comments, I figured... This is not going to be one of the things that I enjoyed doing this year. Like, in this series, this was always going to be one of the classes that I saw and was like... Yep, that's going to be bad. We lost! Fun though. I still had a good time. Alright, I think we've tested this for long enough and I, I, have a, I have an opinion on this gun now. Alright, so what do I actually think about this class? Well, I can tell you that it's not very good. Like, it's it's about as effective as you would expect it to be. I didn't get managed to get a kill with the grenade launcher all day. I tried very, very hard to get a kill with it and it just, it just, no, it's just, it's just like shooting a rock at someone. You might as well just like high five them instead of trying to kill them. It's just bad. Like, but sort of the tactical suppressor did a decent job. I would have much rather the monolithic, monolithic suppressor would have probably been a better option. I don't have it unlocked though. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. The sniper scope would probably be better served by literally any other scope in the game, but it does a job. It's it's fine. It works at long range. It does a good job. The no stock is actually a pretty good option. Maybe not, maybe not with this class, but it's still movement speed, aim down, sight speed. It makes the class fairly competitive. It actually allows you to run around and have a decent time rather than just sitting there sluggishly doing nothing. The end of barrel, as I said, is complete doo doo. Like, don't even you ever 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 use this. It's so garbage. And like, look at this thing. It's a hilarious looking. The 100 round drum mags are fine. I don't have a problem with that. I could use that normally. That, that's a good job, but that's fine. So if we gather all that information up, I would much rather one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four. So four attachments I would change, which makes it, and it's not positive. Like it's not a positive class, so this is bad. I think we'll give it four KFC twister box combos out of 10. Like I just can't recommend this class to literally anyone. There are things that i change, and you definitely have to change it to make this actually usable, because I like the Kilo. Kilo's been a good gun for me recently, and yeah, no, this this doesn't do it for me. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to stick with the four KFC Twister Box combos out of ten. But yeah, this is fun. I liked using this class. I didn't have a good time, but I liked using it. It's always fun to test good things in this game and new things and something that's not terrible and finding out new things. It's bad, but it's not that bad. Anyway, guys. If you did enjoy this one and you wanted me to help me keep making these videos and help keep this series alive, I do need you to leave a comment. I've mentioned this about 150 times in this video already. But yeah, I need you to leave a comment with your class in the comment section below. I don't care if it's good. I don't care if it's bad. Bad's funnier. Not going to lie, bad is funnier. Then you want just me to go, yes, this MP5 class is the best class in the game, so you should probably use it. I mean, I've already done that. Well, I'd probably prefer bad classes, but if you want to give me a good class, you can do that too. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this. I do appreciate it. If you did watch all the way through, watch the struggle. Struggle was real. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.